to high school golf where champions are crowned on the summer golf circuit as the 57th Nebraska Junior Amateur wraps up competition at Awari Dunes Golf Club in Axtell. The top 36 boys from the first two days make the cut and are treated to hot temps and high winds on the links. Grand Island's Preston Villai makes the cut and Eagles on hole six. He shows off the excitement for his only eagle of the tournament. The live finishes in fifth. More on him later, but Carney Catholic's Nash Malone is also in the field. Great chip. He shoots a plus eight over three days to finish in a two-way tie for seventh. A pair of York teammates tie for 12. Emmanuel Jensen fires a 78 on day three for a plus 11 over par. That ties with Duke's teammate Jackson Hines, who had an 81 on the last day. But the 57th champion of the event comes down to the final hole. Gretna's Bo Peterson is the defending champ and goes back to back with a birdie. That stroke saves him from a playoff. But back to Valai, his plus five finish is the highest in the Tri-Cities. I'm happy that I can put up something respectable and show that people from all over can do anything. This is just kind of like a confidence booster, knowing that I can compete against other people that are a lot better and some D1 golfers. I'm the top non-D1 golfer, so that's pretty proud and confidence boosting. Valai just graduated from Grand Island Senior High. He'll play his next two years of golf at Southeast Community College in Beatrice. Same course and similar conditions for the final day of the 24th Nebraska Girls Amateur. Minden's Kaylin Jorgensen puts on for the Whippets across 54 holes. She ends the three-day tournament shooting a plus 23, good for a ninth place finish. Broken Bow's Cameron Johnson is right behind her. She shoots a plus 28 and ends in 10th as Johnson and Jorgensen follow each other in the medal order. The reigning champion of this event is Julia Karmazin of Elkhorn North. She holds out on 18 to end her day and repeats as the girls am champ. Karmazin shoots a plus eight, three strokes ahead of second to go back to back. But Jorgensen is our top local finisher and reps in well. It's nice to kind of put Minden on the map and just be good for a small town. I might not win everything like this, but it makes me so much better and it helps me improve so much playing in tournaments like this and against the top girls in the state. So it just really helps me. Jorgensen is entering her junior year for the Whippets this fall.